Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to this training on SAP basis. Okay, in this training we'll be going through the different aspects of managing SAP basis. But before that, I just wanted to give you guys what is SAP. As a company, SAP is one of the leading provider of business management software. And this company was established in 1972, headquartered in Waldorf, Germany. SAP has over 80,000 customers in over 120 countries. It has the solution offerings for over 25 diverse industries. The SAP R3 is a business software package designed to integrate all areas of business. Okay, now let's get into SAP basis. SAP is an acronym and it stands for systems, applications and products for data processing. So the definition itself means that this is a product for data processing. It is the most popular ERP product developed in world of Germany. So ERP stands for Enterprise Resource and Planning. SAP consultants who design, who build and who manage the SAP environment are termed as SAP consultants. Okay, in this you can see the key words like design. That is they prepare the architecture diagrams. They prepare the architecture of the solution. They build the solution. They manage the solution. They monitor the solution. They administer the solution. So they are the SAP technical architects in the IT organization. They manage the underlying technical architecture of an SAP application. It consists of SAP server infrastructure, SAP software and server process running SAP applications. SAP basis here you can see it is sitting on top of system software and on top of that you have applications running and the custom programs are there which is developed on top of SAP basis. Okay, now this is basically the technical architecture. Here you can see different architectural components. On the left side you have the ABAP stack. ABAP basically stands for Applications, Business, Analysis and Programming. Basically it's a proprietary language developed by SAP and it's more like a SQL itself. Okay, on the left side you have the Java stack which is more of a Java system which is developed mainly on the Eclipse. Okay, so one side is a web stack, another side is Java stack and to access the web stack you need to connect through SAP GUI. To access the Java stack you can connect using internet browser. So the first thing that you get into is internet communication manager so this will take you to the java dispatcher and java dispatcher in turn talks to the server process and you have sdm that is software deployment manager running as well so this is your g2e system which will connect to the database as and when required by the application okay on the ABAP side you are connecting from sap GUI to the dispatcher and dispatcher in turn connects to the work process. Okay, work process, if required, it will connect to the database schema. Okay, and the connection between ABAP and Java is done through JCO. Okay, in the middle, you can see this is one of the core component where you have message server, you have NQ server. This is called the central services instance. Okay. So let's get into the next slide where it's showing the client server configurations. You have three different configuration. Left side is one tier configuration, middle is two tier configuration, on the left is three tier configuration. Okay, in the one tier configuration, you can see there is no separate presentation layer, no separate application layer, but everything is there in this layer, which is having database applications and presentation processes okay and the center you have two tier configuration you have presentation processes and at the bottom you can see both database and application process are there okay in three tier configuration you have presentation layer separate application process separate and database process separate 
Okay, now client server concept. SAP ERP consists of several modules, including utilities for marketing and sales, field service, product design and development, production and inventory control, human resources, financial and accounting. SAP ERP collects and combines data from separate modules to provide the company or organization with enterprise resource planning. If SAP is implemented correctly, an enterprise can go from its old calculation system to a fully integrated software package. Potential benefits include efficient business process, inventory reduction, and lead time reduction. Okay, here you can see the concept where you have R3 client server, ABAP4 basis component, and you have different modules like financial accounting module, controlling module, material management module, asset accounting modules, HR module, office out automation module, plant, plant maintenance module, quality ma management module, production planning ma module, project system module, and sales and distribution system module. Okay, this slide actually I have put just to give you why SAP has been so successful in as a software provider. The reasons are real-time processing with an integrated suite of client server applications. It's very comprehensive. It's all based on open source. It's business process orientation based. It's fully integrated business processes. Modular structure, international, provides maximum flexibility and scalability, strong backbone for future technologies, and 24-hour support from SAP. Case. From scalability perspective, you can see at the center you have ERP, that is enterprise resources. It can connect to the buyer side, it can connect to the seller side, and at the bottom it can connect with the manufacturing execution, with the logistics execution, with the services execution. All right, that's what actually I wanted to cover in the basic. Thank you for joining and have a nice day.